check this out. We have a very simple web application in front of us that looks like it's just displaying products, but that's besides the point. We can also see that there is a My Account page as well as live chat. If we click on the My Account, you can see that it asks us to log in and we can promptly do so. We can select the username and password and log in. Apparently we cannot, but that's again, good. We can see the live chat feature over here and we can chat with, I don't know, an AI and we can say hi. Uh, if I say hi, the AI will say typing and it will give me a message. Now, if I right click and open this in the Chrome developer tools, go to network, go to WebSocket or just socket and hit refresh. You can see that it actually just creates a WebSocket to chat. And here is where the messages are listed. And even if I send a message, you can see that it gets sent here and we see the typing indicator and as well as the response from the AI. Now, would you believe me that I found a very critical vulnerability on a rather popular website in my country, which I cannot tell you the name. And for that vulnerability, I was rewarded with $2,000 or roughly $2,000. It was in a different currency, but it was around 2000, maybe 2100, maybe even below it. But regardless, I was rewarded that kind of money for a simple vulnerability I found. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how this simple looking interactions with the WebSocket can actually be very deadly in terms of security. So let's get started with today's video. Oh, and before we get started, if you like these types of videos and you want more educational content, please make sure to subscribe. You support me and I support you with free stuff I give away, like free knowledge. But also make sure to check out my Ultimate API Android app hacking course, which is on a discount, as well as my game hacking course, which also includes some example cheats. And it's also on a discount, as well as my bug bounty course, which is also on a discount. And as a New Year special, First 100 people, and I'm not even joking, first 100 people to follow me on Instagram, DM me, will get a little coupon, which will only work for one of these three courses, and you will get it completely for free. So, if you want to get something for free, the link for my Instagram is in the description. Now, let's go with the video. All right, so, what's going on? Uh, what? First of all, what even is this response? <laughs> when is your next holiday? I could use a couple of weeks without your stupid questions. <laughs> oh my goodness, Grace. Nah, nah, that's that's not that's not funny. That's not funny. But anyways, uh, let's break this web application to show this AI what the what the hell are we meaning? We we mean business. So first of all, we have the exploit server, which is going to be very important. Now you might know about CSRF. CSRF is when you, for example, go to your account, if you could log in, apparently I cannot, but regardless, if you could log in, you would basically maybe update your email and you would try it from a different domain. And if that same request goes through, then you got yourself a vulnerability. And if you want to see a video on that, check the right corner, top right, I believe. So yeah, that's a very real vulnerability. But have you ever heard of the cross-site <laughs> cross WebSocket hijacking? Or in other words, CSWH. You know about CSRF, but have you ever heard about this one? And it's very critical because a lot of, and I mean a lot of websites use WebSocket. For example, Instagram, Discord, YouTube, everything uses WebSockets to transfer stuff, even games like Crunker or any other if you, you know, play them. But they all they all use kind of WebSocket because it's easier to transfer messages instead of an HTTP request. All messages can be sent with a one stream, and, you know, that's very simple. If you take a look at how this looks like, it's just using a WSS, which is a secure WebSocket protocol to this web, web domain. And we also see the, the URI slash chat. That's very simple. And the cookie is our session. Very simple. So what I like to do is I like to go to my exploit testing grounds or whatever. And I would like to inspect element here and go to console. Now you can play with this like a lot. We can see how this actually works is that once we connect, we immediately send the all caps ready. So we might try to connect it from another domain and send the all caps ready. And for example, if this don't, if this actually was a vulnerable dub WebSocket page or WebSocket handler or whatever you call it, it would allow us to see messages from the user who has opened the link and essentially allow us to authenticate from and see what the hell are they chatting with the AI. So yeah, uh, let's create a new WebSocket. So we can type const. Uh, let me actually zoom in for you. So we can type const ws and then we can say equals to a new WebSocket. And then we can essentially go over here. And this is where we put this. Oh my God. Uh, hold on. This is where we put this. So put that there and it will be good to go. Now, just below this, we can say ws on open. We can create a new function for this. We can use arrow for arrow functions or whatever. We need to just say ws.send and we need to send the all caps ready. So we can just do this. Now let's see what happens if I just now click enter. So let's go to network socket. We seem to have maybe sent it. Oh, would you look at that? Let me actually unzoom this a bit. Uh, yeah, you can see that we saw a ready and we see user connected. 
But there's a problem. Uh, we are not really logged in. Plus, it could be that I'm just on Brave and it doesn't show up. But on Chrome, I believe it should show up. Anyway, regardless, this is what we need to do. Uh, and when we just say WS on open, uh, let me refresh the page right here. It, it would load it, but you know, it, we're not really logged in. This is a locally stored session, it's whatever. But I'm on Brave, I think Brave is more secure than Chrome. I think the victim is on Chrome. So yeah, let's, when I tested this, I tested it on Chrome. I don't know why I'm using Brave, I guess it's more secure. Now, what else can we do with this? We can also accept a message. So we can just say D WS, let me zoom in again, on message, as you can see, it already exists. Now, what should we do once we receive the message from this WebSocket stream? Well, we obviously want to, you know, steal that. So we can create a fetch to just basically send this to ourselves. So what I'll do is I will uh, just copy this right over here because this is my exploit server. Uh, and over here, I will just add data equals and, you know, something. And for this, I'll just use uh, just these symbols and just so it's looking nice and pretty. And event data should do the thing. Now, it should send any message that essentially comes back here it should send it to this and let me show you actually how it would look like if i go over here and go to access log you can see this is where the logs would be for this exploit server and if i click just enter uh you would see that another created another websocket stream would be created if i refer hit refresh here you can see that we see the json stuff being sent over here so that's the exploit and essentially we already got it so uh, let me just go back up uh, and again you might be wondering how is this a, how is this you know a one line well i could make it a one line if i wanted to but that would look extremely ugly Oh yeah, sure. Let me make it a one line for you. There you go. That's, that's now it's just a one line of code. Wow. So now we have to actually store the exploit and send it to the victim. So this will be good. Let me store this and let me view the exploit. And over here, I will just make sure that, uh, you know, we, we see the exploit data. So let me view exploit and see if everything is working. Uh, nope, it's not working. I guess I screwed something up. Uh, and I tend to fuck away. Maybe I should make it a single line. <laughs> All right, store that. Let's go view exploit. Hit refresh. Now it works. So all we have to do now is we have to go back and deliver this exploit to the victim. And let's see what did victim leak to us. Oh, look at that. Uh, we can see a whole lot of stuff here. And this is, hello, how can I help? You, the user who are we hacking sent for, I forgot my password. And the AI said, no problem, Carlos. It is that right over there. And I believe our goal is to essentially log in as Carlos. So let me go to my account. Let me go to Carlos and let me just put the password I just got. And boom, look at that. We were able to log in. So that's the vulnerability I found. Uh, I tried to explain it in a nice little playful way. Hopefully you'll like it. But yeah, I was rewarded for this, I believe, like roughly 2000. But yeah, it was around that in the US dollars. Uh, it was actually a really amazing bug. And yeah, hopefully you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay responsible. Happy New Year. And as always, peace.